Hi YouTubers. First a bit of housekeeping, I'm smoking a pipe of my own I made some time back. I don't know what shape you'd call that, but uh, it's made of mahogany. And the tobacco I'm smoking in it is a mix of my own. It's a mixture of about 10 grams each of squadron leader, black cherry, black bourbon, nutty mix, English mix, and then 50 grams of earth impact, which is a herbal mixture, all mixed together. It gives a lovely smoke. What I'd like to introduce you to today <coughs> is a book I had quite some time back. <coughs> um, it's called The Big Read. The BBC's Big Read. And it's a compilation of books that people thought were good reads. I'll read a little bit of what it says in the introduction. What is your best book? Uh, the one that feels like an old friend, the one you grew up with, the one that gets you through hard times, even the one that changed your life. This is the question the BBC asked the British public in on the 5th of April 2003 when we launched the big reads. It's about 10 years ago when I had this book. The nomination period lasted two weeks and people would vote by telephone or on the internet. Only novels were eligible, but they could be from any country or time and a series of books such as The Lord of the Rings could be counted as a single title as long as they were published in a single volume with sophisticated measures in place to identify and discount any attempt at multiple voting we were able to ensure the results were genuine. When the poll lasted, uh, sorry, when the poll closed after two weeks, nearly 140,000 votes had been cast, making the Big Read the biggest ever survey of British literary loves. Nearly 7,000 different titles were nominated, the most popular of the books featured here in the top 100. It's a big book in itself just to handle. I'll read a few just to give you an idea what people, uh, the books that people nominated. Birdsong, Captain Corelli's Mandolin, Catch-22, Catcher in the Rye, Gone with the Wind, Great Expectations, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, His Dark Materials, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and so on goes right the way through from Jane Eyre, uh, Shakespeare, down to Harry Potter. It's what people thought were their best reads. What does it give them the most pleasure? Then on each page, or double page, you get a little bit about the author, telling you how they came into the business, how they started, how many books they've written, so forth. And then it gives you a, a little bit about the story, and it gives you then the story in a nutshell. So you know what it's all about before you go out and, and buy it. it. Tells you what the publishers are, etc. I'm talking a lot now, so my pipe is going out all the time.
but I was introduced to a lot of books, well, a number of books anyway, from reading this book myself, books that I hadn't thought of reading, and I found were very interesting. This one you have, for instance, this is not my cup of tea, but here's one of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. As you can see, they're very well illustrated. The Dark Materials, Philip Pullman, this is a fantasy, again like a Harry Potter, uh, not my cup of tea. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, now that's a wonderful book, I've read this, it's a, it's a humorous book of course, he's just taken a mickey out of science fiction, and uh, I've read this several times, it's a big book, big read, terrific. Gen Air, I've got that in my, over there in my uh, library. And something that a lot of people were introduced to in their childhood, C.S. Lewis's The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Give them the first uh, taste, I suppose, of fantasy novels. The Lord of the Rings. Great story. Of course, you should read The Hobbit first. And that'll lead you into The Lord of the Rings. And you've got three books to, w w to read through. The Fellowship of the Rings. Uh, the Two Towers. If I could try to remember them, and the return of the king. 1984, George Orwell. This is a, a frightening book when I read it first. I've read it about three times, and it's uh, it gives you an idea of what could happen in uh, the kind of society where you haven't got much choice. You haven't got a lot of choice in this society. You can tell a lot of things that he wrote about you is coming true. Big Brother is watching you all the time. Um, Cameras everywhere watching you and telling you what to do. Don't smoke. Don't do this. Don't do that. Instead of giving people free choice, you just tell them, explain it to them what's good and what's bad and let them make their own mind up. I'm afraid that's more or less gone out of the door now. Pride and Prejudice. Again, great stories, but uh, not my cup of tea. More for women. Rebecca, Daphne de Muria, that's over there in my, in my uh, bookcases. It's a great story. To Kill a Mockingbird, another terrific story. Remember seeing the film of that as well, with Gregory Peck. War and Peace, no, I couldn't get through that. It's just too long and I found it too boring, really. There's a, there's a lot in it, but it's uh, it gets... You get bogged down in it about halfway through and you think, oh, enough is enough, and then you put it aside. At least I did. The Wind and the Willows. By Kenneth Graham. Because uh, a lot of people were introduced to this in their childhood, and uh, it became one of their favourite books. And some people just like to go over it every now and again. To remind them of it. Winnie the Pooh, another one for children. Wuthering Heights, and there are only times that's been made into a film. That's in my bookcase over there as well. And it goes on and on like this, you know. This is a, a great book if you want to just get to know, or be introduced to books perhaps you haven't thought of reading. By going through it and see what other people have got to say about these books and giving an introduction to them. And uh, I know that uh, Terry Pratchett, has, there's three nominations in here for different books of his, all to do with the disc world, uh, the fantasy world he, he created. Again, it's a humorous book, it's all tug in cheek. You, you don't take anything serious in his books, but they're very, very uh, inventive. So there we are, that's my, um, that's my little offering today for those of you. I'll have to get on with smoking my pipe as it keeps going out with all this talking. So maybe I've given you a taste of uh, things to look for, but I, I, I'd advise you to try and get this book. It's probably out of print now, but you can probably, if you get it on Amazon or uh, eBay, you could probably get uh, 
a copy of it from someone who's got it in their back cupboard there. So until the next time, this is Alan saying take care.